ODM party leader Raila Odinga has accused government officials of exaggerating oil prices, saying the Israel-Hamas war is merely a pretext to extort Kenyans. This comes after Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni announced plans to source petroleum products directly from suppliers, saying middlemen in Kenya had colluded with Ugandan government officials to inflate prices. <laughs> Jumatatu, Rais Suluhu wa Tanzania ametangaza kushushwa kwa bei ya mafuta kule Tanzania. Na amesema kwa sababu ya ile vita Israel na na, na, na Palestina gharama ya, 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 ya bei ya mafuta imerudi chini. Wa Tanzania wamerudisha bei ya mafuta chini na shilingi 30 kwa lita ya Kenya. Naona hiyo Soko gani ambaye bwana Chirichi ananunua na Tanzania unanunua kwa soko gani? Soko ni moja. The Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority has attributed the discrepancies in oil prices between Kenya and Tanzania to a 13% depreciation of the Kenya shilling against the Tanzanian shilling and differences in pricing models. Hiyo bei ambayo wanauza hii mafuta katika kila lita wameweka shilingi 30 juu. Each and every liter of oil which they are selling, they are eating 30 shillings. Here in Nasema, we have uchunguzi na wiki jail. Mtatoboa. Mtatoboa. Odinga was speaking in Siaya County after launching the ODM party's mass recruitment drive, targeting 10 million new members across the 47 counties. ODM leaders faulted Ruto for the tax increases under the Finance Act 2023, proposing an expansion of the tax base instead. You cannot afford to be born now. And if you are born, you cannot afford to be educated. And if you are educated, you cannot afford to be sick. And if you fall sick and are treated, you cannot afford to marry. And if you marry, you cannot afford even the marriage certificate. We live in a country where you cannot even afford to die. And you must be costed. Brutal we! Brutal we! The leaders also read sinister motives in the government's move to increase fees for identity cards, passports, and other government services. First-time applicants will pay 1,000 shillings to acquire identity cards, which were previously issued at no cost, while those applying for replacements will pay 2,000 shillings, up from 100 shillings. The nationwide recruitment exercise, which began in Siaya County, will be launched at all ODM branches, starting with the Nyanza region, and culminate in a national delegates conference next year. We are looking for electoral justice. Lazima tuchunguze mambo vile tulipiga kura. Ndiyo hapo usoni in 2027 tutakuwa na uchaguzi ya haki na ukweli. ODM is going to take its rightful position. And is going to prepare itself to face off with any opponent, with any enemy with any adversary, whenever and wherever elections shall be called. The party has hit out at defectors, urging the youth to apply for national IDs and register as members as it seeks to strengthen its ranks ahead of the 2027 elections. Hakuna mahali katika inchi hii ulimwengu unzima ambapo unaweza kushinda kwa kura ikiwa chama chako, ikiwa chama chako haina nguvu. At Obama alikuwa president in America kwa sababu alikuwa na chama ambayo ina nguvu. Kwa hivyo tunahimiza ya kwamba kila mtu katika sia ya nzima aye mwanachama ya ODM. Muriel Adhiambo K24 TV.